When millions of African Americans left the segregated South and came north during the great migration of the last century, they did so with hope and optimism and a determination that voices long silenced would be heard. Many of those voices came here to New York City, sparking a movement that would change American art and culture forever. And this year marks the 100th anniversary of that movement, the Harlem Renaissance, making it a perfect time to appreciate again the voices behind its words, music, and pictures, voices that inspire the world to this day. The Harlem Renaissance did not speak with one voice. It spoke with cameras and paintbrushes typewriters and piano keys, producing works that were jubilant and defiant and heartbreaking and joyous. Much of the Harlem it depicted is gone now, or so it seems at first glance. Like most of the jazz clubs and speakeasies that earned 133rd Street the nicknames Swing Street and Jungle Alley, but the spot where a teenage Billie Holiday was discovered still pulses and throbs with jazz and bebop on weekend nights. Fashion statements that championed boldness, self-determination, ideas of what success looked like, what cool looked like, continue to inspire Harlem's designers and makers today. And while the writers and artists may be gone, the scenes they captured and the ideas they espoused live on, many of them celebrated in a new exhibition currently on view at the Met. The Victoria Theater is no longer a vaudeville house. Only its facade and lobby remain, but behind them are two brand new stages run by the legendary Apollo Theater next door. They're in Harlem's tallest building, where up on the fifth floor is the lobby of the 211 room Renaissance Harlem New York Hotel, which you guessed it, is a beautiful and brand new tribute to the 100 year old Renaissance. Sometimes the Renaissance is hiding in plain sight behind an unmarked door at American Legion Post 308 where Sunday afternoons are for converging on a basement where there's soul food and jazz that sounds just as hot in the 2020s as it did in the 1920s. The Renaissance is as much a part of Harlem's present and its future as its past. You just have to know where to look.